Astro's new update is strikingly good and simply too hard to ignore. And if you're a store owner or you're planning to create an online store, this video is for you. My name is Hamza and in this video I'm going to take you through some of the outstanding features that Astra released in their 3.9 version which I think you should know about. Without any further ado, let's get started. In brief, Astra has made some amazing updates on the shop page, single product page, my cart page, checkout page, thank you page, my account page and a lot more other exciting changes that make WooCommerce a new other exciting tool to use for selling online. Now for instance this is the shop page and you realize that we now have a sticky sidebar and now we can convert filters to a button. We can as well have our products with this add to cut icon and a quick view mode for the single product. Look at this. You see how that looks like? And for example, if I add this to the cut by clicking add to the cut icon, boom, I'm having an off canvas cut which is detailing or which is showing all the items in the cut, which hasn't been the case. And look, I can still make updates within here and it's going to automatically update the cut in the off canvas shopping cart. And look, if, for example, I go to the single product, now this is a single product, we are now having a new layout, not only for the shop page, but also for the single product page and all the other WooCommerce pages. But look, we now have a new gallery layout. We now have images in the vertical scroll. For example, look at this. We can now have them in the horizontal, like I'm going to show you in this video. But not only that, obviously you can still open up your images with a zoom icon clicked like this. And also the other small but noticeable change that you will see is now we can add quantities of items into our cart by simply adding the plus or minus icon, which is really good for the mobile user experience because before we simply had to click on the arrows or something like that. But now look at this. Then we can as well show payment options on the single product page, which is awesome. This I like because hey, someone will obviously know that hey, these are the available payment modes that I can use to pay for this product. When we go down here in the description, before we had one layout from WooCommerce, which was a little bit boring, but now we have two, actually three more layouts that I'm going to show in this video. We can now have this vertical tab navigation for the description. Did you notice already that now we have a sticky add to cart option down below here. We can as well position it at the top of our website. But how cool is this? Okay, now let's go and look at the cart page. So by clicking up here in the menu, I can have the fly in cart and then I can now view the cart. And don't forget that they have also added new a new layout for the cart page and a lot more other exciting updates for the cart. For example, now I can have a layout with a sidebar instead of our cut totals being just down below here, we can now have our cut on the side and we can as well make it sticky. Look at this. And we can as well make real-time updates with this new feature that has been provided in Astra 3.9. Look how cool that looks like. Now, if I remove this product, automatically now I don't have that product. Now, if I add new quantities of a product, automatically it's going to update in the cart. And did you notice that we can now customize the text on the buttons? This is also happening on the checkout page like I'm going to show you in this video, but we can now customize our text on the buttons in the cart page, which hasn't been the case before in WooCommerce. Now, when I click and go to the checkout page, look what is going to happen. We now have a checkout page that has a multi-step checkout page. Of course, you can choose the option in the layouts, which layout you want to use, but in the new modern layout, we can now add a multi-step checkout page. And we have a number of options that you can, of course, customize like Astra has. But now in the new update, something that your customers will really find interesting is the fact that one, if they're already an existing customer, by entering their email on the checkout page, it will automatically fill in their password and then they are able to log into their account and be able to check out. Also, not only that, if in any case at the checkout page, they lose their page or the browser freezes and goes off, once they recover the browser or once they reopen the browser, 
the data was already filled into the billing details and all that stuff will be automatically recovered. How good is that? Like for your client, they don't have to go through the stress of having to retype everything on your website simply to make a purchase. Now by Astra thinking about this further, it makes the shopping experience even way better and obviously improving your conversion rates. But not only that, let's go to the payment modes. What stood out for me here was like for the button here for placing the order. I mean, we can now customize this, add a padlock, we can customize the text and as well, we can add the card totals to display in the button before the client is actually making the purchase. The more exciting bit about this is when the client logs into their account or their individual account, we can now add a gravatar or a gravatar image for the client in their My Account page. And now we even have a new modern layout for the My Account page. I like how the Astro team is actually forward thinking and making WooCommerce as a software a better tool to use for selling online. But also look, look into the orders. So we now have a new layout for the orders and how they are displaying. Look at how this looks like. And if someone, for example, wants to view their order, obviously when they click on the view order notice, they can now see all the details of the order and all that stuff. This is bananas. And I think if now anyone is thinking of building an online store and looking for a theme that will really give them a great number of features and a good experience for their clients, then you should give a thought about Astra. Anyway, now I think it's time to take you through the nitty gritties of this update from the WordPress dashboard. All right, so by jumping straight into the customizer, so I am going to come over right here to the product catalog. So this is like the shop page or the shop archive. Now you realize that under the shop layout, we have a new layout, which is design three. And this is the modern layout. It's the one that is going to enable you to have the quick mode and also the add to cart option on the shop page, like these two options over here. The other striking options are these down below here for the shop structure. There is the enable sticky sidebar, which is already enabled for now. And that is a new feature. And also the other feature is the enable feeder accordion. Now we are able to collapse. So if for example, I disable that, you then realize that on our filters, we don't have the accordions enabled. So if now we enable the new feature, now that gives us the option that we can have the accordions on our filters in the sidebar. And then the other feature that you'll notice is that now we can change the filter list to buttons and now that even makes it more exciting. For example, if I enable it right now, you see now that we have this as a button instead of it being a list. So those are some of the exciting changes that you'll see on the shop page. But before I close this up, we now have the quick view mode, which is over here on all the products, which is now enabled by default because we have already chosen the design tree or the new modern layout. And now we can choose the quick view when it to appear, for example, on image, on image click or after summary, or we can simply disable it. So for now I've set it to be on image. And if I say quick view and voila, there we have a quick view of our product from the shop page or from the shop archive page. This is banana. So someone doesn't have to go into like opening up the single page and then reading this and then reading all the details about the product. They can have everything over here and they can still navigate through the product images and obviously see the available payment modes and all that stuff. So this literally changes everything regarding the user experience and how fast you can get conversions on your website. Now I'm going to go to the single product. So I'll open up one product over here. In the new modern layout, you will realize that now we have a new gallery layout for our single product. So for example, now we have the horizontal slider and we have also the vertical slider. But now, for example, if I enable the horizontal slider, so now we have this. Now we can just simply use the horizontal slider even or use even the arrows in this case to navigate through our product images. And then when you go down to the product structure options, we can enable shipping text on the single product page and as well a sticky product summary. So for example, when I scroll, you realize that this can turn into a sticky product summary, just like you see right over there. And then also realize that they have added an update for the product description where you can choose in between different layouts. And in this case, I love the vertical tabbed uh, layout 
which is this over here but now we have another option using the accordion just like now over here so you can collapse this you can expand this you can collapse it and also expand this other and also another one for the distributed layout this is for me interesting and makes the future of building websites on WooCommerce pretty exciting the other option that i found interesting is the sticky add to cart now when that is enabled then you'll have something like this over here on the single product page and that will float in from the bottom those are some of the updates that i found really interesting for the single product page but now let me go and take you through also the other exciting updates from the cart page so inside the cart page we have enabled a new modern layout we can add sticky cart totals so for example if i have more items in this cart so now to view the sticky cart totals let me collapse this now when i scroll you realize that the sticky cut totals which is over right here on this side is going to stick as i scroll down the page awesome i'll come back here and i'll have to mention that this is only now available in the modern layout if i disable the modern layout you realize that i don't have the sticky cut option to display over here so now we have the initial woocommerce boring layout that aside we now have also the real-time quantity updater i mean if you make any changes to the cart on the cart page automatically the that will be updated in real time and then also we can change the cart button text and that means that we can make changes to this button so in this case if you have that option enabled then you can make changes to over here check out now for instance so that will make changes to the checkout button right now or the cut button right now so in this case i'll take it back to say let's there you go you are now able to make changes to your cut and the buttons and also the real-time quantity updater and also adding the sticky cut over right here now let's go and look into our checkout page so when i say proceed to checkout now i'm taken to the checkout page and let's go and look into the checkout options that have been provided one we have a new modern layout and you have to enable it if you don't have it enabled and you are in the default woocommerce layout this is what you're going to have when we enable the modern layout we can do a couple of significant changes one we can enable a button padlock we can enable a button price like i have already shown you and we can enable a two-step checkout this is a two-step check out if you don't want to have it enabled you can simply just disable it over right here you can customize uh, the the primary text and also the secondary text on both the steps uh, so for example here on the shipping option you have the primary text and the secondary text and over here on the payment option now if you check out on the step two of the payment you realize that now we can even enable the display product images so in this case if i enable this I go to the payment option now you see that we have the product images appearing on our checkout form that's it for now on the checkout page and i hope you guys when you check it out you let me know down in the comment box below what your thoughts are and all that stuff but for now let's go and finally check out the my account page because hey it's also having now a new modern layout so right now you can see that in the my account page i have enabled a gravatar on my account and that means that my image is going to show up the image that i used on my email on the gravatar website so it's showing up over here and the other thing is that you can now enable a grid layout for the orders in the my account page so for example when i come over here and say orders to view my orders now all my orders are going to be listed in the grid layout and then even when i go to see the details of every individual order this is how they will be listed i hope you are still want to close this video without mentioning some of my outstanding updates in this update one the skeleton loader the persistent form data the button lock and the price on the checkout field or on the checkout button field as someone is signing out from your website or when they are checking out those are really outstanding very small details but they make a lot of impact when it comes to the user experience on your website anyway i'm not only excited but really happy that 
I could make this video and take you through some of these features or some of these updates that I think you as a store owner or if you're considering into creating an online store then these updates are absolutely important to know about anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment box below your outstanding feature in this new astro update have a good time and goodbye